Welcome to She's Not Doing So Well. Comedy Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what? Featuring Bobby. I don't want to be viral. I want to be inspirational and life-changing. Because oh. listen, I'm edgy. You fuck. Jim. I'm a top. What can I say? Finally, he's just like, you can unfollow me if you yeah. don't like my body. The Miz. Oh my God, tell me all about it. <laughs> I'm in New York, right? But you like it mushroom sheep? <laughs> <laughs> I need to take my liver medicine. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of She's Not Doing So Well. I'm Bobby. I'm Jam. And I'm Anthony Clayton Robert Villiotti. <gasps> Clayton. Uh, Clayton Robert? Wow. That's yeah, cool. I don't know Is why I feel like saying my whole name. Yeah, that's a real name. Oh, my God. Yeah. My name's Robert. My real name. <gasps> oh, my God. We're meant to be together. We're meant to be together. Three oh of us. God. All three of us are supposed to be here. <laughs> All three of us, even if that. we are told by other people that we're not... I guess. You know what? Sometimes you just gotta tell the truth. Oh my god, when ten people are saying yes and one saying no, you can't really take it like it's just a grain of salt, you know. True. I and it, love salt. And at this, salt. okay, I'm I'm into salt licks. <laughs> Have you I'm screaming. Licked? I'm literally screaming salt lick. Okay. Right. Right. You just itched your ear. Yeah, I know it was itchy. Okay. Um, this week we have nothing planned because you want to know why? Because there was a fucking coup that happened in Washington, D.C. So I'm sorry that we're not really prepared. Oh, no. We're not ready to talk? <laughs> we're not, but we are. And also it's the Miz's birthday. Uh, I'm he old is as 32. Fuck. 32. I'm basically 32. dead. I'm 28 and I He's never oh, felt older. Wow. Wait, is, did all the famous people die at 27 or 28? That's me. Oh, he's already made it past. Unfortunately, he's already made it past the year where he should have died. Right. That's how you know I'm never going to be anything if I'm still alive. Yeah, he's like, oh shit, he's yeah. still here. We got to go gonna... back to two. We got to go back. <laughs> I'm just going to be 28, 29, 30, and just be like complete nobody. And that, you know what? It's fine. I'm, it's I'm not even nobody. It's I'm less down. than a nobody. It's, it's like an, it's than. a nobody trying to be somebody, but you have a key made for your building. That's a big deal. You know what? Yes. A as a follow up to last episode, I did get a key made, and I did get three extras made. And what are they for? I have a contraption that <gasps> can let me in wirelessly. Oh. Yeah, I saw that on your Instagram. So I'm thriving now. <gasps> oh. Yeah, basically I'm thriving. Oh my God. Um, like a wait, a contraption. Is, what is that? What's a contraption? A contraption sits below my little buzzer. It's like when you live in an apartment building, you oh. have a buzzer that oh. lets people in. And this little contraption sitting below it, and it goes like, if you're not watching, say it's at like a, a 90 degree angle, it, it goes right up to a 180 degree angle and then pushes <laughs> the button. <laughs> The button. The button. And oh, you've had some birthday marks. And then it lets me in. And then I can just walk right in. I, I literally don't push don't the door and I'm just like, I'm just like, yeah, I'm here. I'm bitch. here and I don't I'm, need a key. I'm technologically ahead of all of you. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you're you're playing with a key, bitch. I find me in 1992. Like I'm not Siri, doing that. Open my oh. door, Siri. You weren't even born in 92, were you? No, I was I was a mere fetus in 92. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm so old. <laughs> Bobby was Wait, thriving. But when you guys okay, grade, honestly, I want all of your birthdays to be <gasps> at Ariba Ariba because we had the best time. They brought out a marg, they brought out churros, they sang. Churros. Oh my god, it was so much fun. I did post a video of you. I, I keep posting <laughs> videos of your life on our because you're like doing big things, honey. Doing big things like getting churros thrown down famous. my throat. You got a churro shoved up your hole on your birthday. I, mean, I know. What do you want? They were literally shoved up my hole. Was it, it chocolate was or what type of churro? There, no, it was regular Cinnamon. churros, but there was like chocolate Ew. dip, and I was yeah, like, gotta have a dip. Yeah, it was oh, a good yeah. dip. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. Arriba, arriba, underlay. It honey. was so good. You guys, yeah, I can't wait for you guys to come. Wait, so how old are you? 28. 28. Wow. Jim um, has had six beers, just FYI. I just want to warn the, the listeners. It was four. Actually, it's not. And you brought the kitty paws up and you're chugging them. You guys have been out drinking, though. You guys were out in the fireplace. It was four and it was two kitty paws after the four. So That's six. not six beers. Yeah, he's, I don't even, I'm telling you, it's going to be I a I mean, what's a kitty paw? A kitty, kitty cat, paw. kitty cat. Purr. 
It's a seltzer. It's gluten free, and it's from a local brewery. You'll have some when you come to Columbus. When you come to Columbus, okay, and we to go to, to Columbus Boys Town, like now. You're gonna honestly. love it. I, know, I just want to get there. I think Columbus come. would be really good for you. All yeah, I want to do is I just want to take bubbles and just wrap my arms around oh, him. And you'll just jump. Like, I want to lock necks. That's oh, what I want to do. I want to okay. go like necking. We're gonna neck each other. I want to okay. neck you, bubbles. Uh, hopefully, and my just, fat neck will be gone to where I can like no, really get around. I want you just yeah, the bubbles I know and it's like neck no, you. The bubbles like, you know oh God, does fucking planks and and pushups now. So the bubbles you know will be here. The bubbles you know Waiting. fasted until three o'clock and then housed Condado Taco <laughs> and Levan cookies. And Levan I cookie. brought over Levan cookies. But I'm under my. You're allowed to eat what you want in your small window. He was fasting all day so he could have a. Levan I fasted cookie. all day and I worked out. In the middle of my fast, and he had ice cream. Burn more. On Can I just make an observation, Bubbles? That I think your face does look more <gasps> skinny. Oh I think my it, god! I think your face looks skinnier. I think it is. Skinnier. It's starting to happen. Is it? It is starting to happen. But I'm not weighing. I'm not weighing myself anymore. I already told myself that. I'm not weighing. It's myself. honestly not about weight, though. No. It's about what you look like. How and I how feel you and feel. how I look. It's about life. And I actually like. I know this is going to sound really sad, but like I can get up easier and stuff now. <laughs> Well, that's those are I mean, it's really true. clear, tall, like tell yeah. signs. Yeah, like, I'm like, oh, that I means like, something. When you want to walk to the fridge, it's easier. It's easier to sit up. <laughs> Jim, <laughs> Jim's in rare form, and he's being mean. And you know what? I'm gonna bring something up. Right Jim, now. are you being mean, Bobby? Bring it up. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna bring something up. I'm so in trouble. I made Jim a um, Instagram handle, Jim dot the dot unicorn. Yes, at Instagram. Yes, so go add him. But don't talk yep. shit about me on it because guess what? I'm connected. So when I see <gasps> little dick pics coming by, oh, oh, dick, it yeah, pops on my phone. Of, and there are a lot of dick pics coming by. Yeah. Like, sorry. Who's not sending sorry. dick pics? Everyone. Um, I ask for them. But also when one of my loved ones, which I'm not going to say. I'm not We're gonna, not going to say a name, but. When one of my loved well. ones is saying belly to every single picture that Jim posts, I think it's fucking rude. I thinking, would second that. I think it's fucking rude. They know, they know she's looking and they know she's feeling big and they are taking advantage of that she's taking advantage of me and but don't be fucking rude and you he know? doesn't like being taken advantage of anymore because he's well you don't that. even need to dislike slash like being taken advantage of it's don't be fucking rude like that's don't just like rude. a common courtesy let's don't be fucking rude we need to just let it be known bobby are you bubbles oh oh we're in trouble oh, <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> Hello. Hi, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, sorry. We're recording and you're on the you're on the air. Not you. I'm looking at you. I can't because I can't hear you, so you gotta go back to regular phone. Regular. Because I have something to say. Regular, please. Regular. Regular. Back to the reg. Back to regular on now. The reg. Hold on, honey. My blood. Hi. Honey. Hi. Hi. You're finally on the podcast. Who do we have you. here? <laughs> this is my cousin Heather. No. She's my favorite cousin. Heather. Hello, baby. Thank you. I mean, uh, Jim, I can't hear you. Jim's here. He just has his face buried because um, I have something to say. We have something to fucking say. You're in trouble. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just want to, I'll just give you a little background. Um, a couple days ago, I made an Instagram handle called Jim dot the dot um, unicorn. Yeah, he fucking did. And I have it on my phone. Like sometimes I post for Jim, but also Jim's on there messaging all kinds of people. So um, just a little bit ago, I see a message pop up, and it's you, and it says mm -hmm. belly. So I'm like, oh, weird, because I saw this earlier in the week that you were talking shit about another picture he posted. Because you always say, oh, it's my belly. Why don't you oh, just say belly. it to my face instead of? I do. I just said belly. I always say you're fat. I mean, I always. <laughs> <laughs> I always say you're fat too, but I say it to your face. Right. I said it to your face too. I knew you had his handle. <gasps> no. <laughs> this is a backpedal. Oh, he belly, belly. Look, I'll have you know that I'm on day thirty-five. Jim, does he not always say that? Yeah, he does. And he knows. Right. I'm allowed to talk right. about my weight. So it's but... not like I'm making it up out of nowhere. Right. I know, but it feels a little He's a belly diva. Qua, like hurtful when I see it pop up from you and it says belly and you're not saying that to me directly. You're saying it well, to Jim as sorry, in... Sorry, I'll make sure to say it to you next time instead. <laughs> well, I thought that's the relationship that we had. We're very upfront. Like I tell you when your double chin is there, I tell you... Oh, how's COVID? <laughs> it's awful. Oh, I'm on fuck. Day 
What day are you? I'm on, on day eleven, I think, oh, and I shit. still can't breathe. How did you get it? Well, get your vaccines is all I'm saying. Well, she's... say it again, Miz. What was that? How did you get it? I was trying to be healthy and skinny and not have a belly, and went to the gym and got COVID. Mm. Mm. That's what fat girls say usually. Really? <laughs> now, how did the parents get it? Jim. Probably from me. <laughs> So I had a sore throat for like three days prior to actually like feeling sick. And then my dad like lost his taste and smell, but had no other symptoms and then got tested and he was positive. And I was like, oh, so my sore throat probably was real and not just the change of weather. Well, and you have a lot of issues. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, I went from like Ohio 30 degrees to South Carolina 65 degrees. So why wouldn't I just think it was like climate change? Right. Mm. Yeah. Well, so you still are under the weather. Yeah. Well, we're all I mean, praying I feel, for you. I feel okay. I'm just short of breath all the time, like a fat yeah. ass. Oh, God. If I got that, then I really wouldn't be able to do anything. Yeah. I, Correct. Like, I, you Belly. Can compare it to, this is how I compare it. You know how we watch 600 Pound Life and they're like out of breath just sitting up? <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's how I feel. <laughs> I mean, if we're going to talk about bellies and stuff, like, you'd be the one person that I would want next to me in that, like, twin show or the sister show. Yeah. They're both fat. That'd be me Oh, and yeah. You. The a thousand pound sisters. But we'd have, like, dogs that we'd be, like, making them pick us up stuff. Like, they... <laughs> go get <laughs> the paper. We to go to the fridge for us. Oh, my God. Miz is horrified right go now. Go get the mail. Miz is horrified. He just goes, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, dude, go get the beer out of the fridge for he's me. Like, I'm you are in... fat, fat. He's like, you're... I'm in New York. We walk everywhere. I'm like, we just lay around. <laughs> in this state you can literally lay around i i love it i mean i've been sick for this is day 11 and all i do is sleep and nap and <gasps> sometimes eat soup so i should get this soup do you say soup, soup? What's do you soup? not eat soup man oh you don't have soup in new york city oh i'm sorry you fucking coastal elite yeah exactly oh you're, well, you're, oh you're it's okay i forgive you what's your, what's your favorite soup i don't have a favorite soup Oh, I love soup. Oh, I love soup. Yeah. I that, might be, soup. that might be Midwest, I though. love a good barley. Anything with barley. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, thick and crunchy. Are like... you guys all sitting in the same room? No, no. We don't believe in COVID? No, we're not in the same room, actually. Well, me and Jim are, but he's across the way. Miz is in and New York. And he has a shot. Miz just got his mark delivered, so he had he to... He is Shantae. Away. I don't know him. Shantae, I know him. you stay. Oh, he's fun. Oh, Shantae, he stay. He's kind of like you, actually. Yeah, he is. Like he's very upfront. Like like, like, you can just like leave you? it. Oh yeah. He just said you can just leave it. Oh fuck! Look, we're just watching Ms. Ooh, open this his like, door. Oh my god! This is like the porn he's that gonna I get listen. Raped. No, this is the porn I watch, and they have the camera right yep. there like that. Ah! I'm screaming. Wait, so where does he live? You said New York. He lives New in New York, York City. City. He's on the Upper West Side. Hello. He's upper West Side. He's on the Upper West Side. Hello. Sorry. Sorry. He's in the Chelsea. He's what? got a. What did you buy, honey? Oh, you got a lot, bitch. Oh. Oh, oh she got chill. So can you tell me more about him? I don't know him. Miz, oh. why don't you say a little bit of. Say something about yourself. Goodbye. I just got a prickly pear frozen mark, 32 ounces. Uh, oh. Delivered. Oh, she's gone. It says careful opening, smiley face. Careful. They're like, careful, because last time you hit your head on the way back. <laughs> last time you threw a fit after the three mark limit. So. <laughs> <laughs> threw a fucking They're thing. like, we remember. Miz, if you could describe yourself in one word, what would it be? Drunk. Volatile. Oh. Heather, what would you describe yourself in one word? Sassy bitch. That's oh, two words. That's two. Sassy? No, one. Hyphen. Sassy. Hyphen. <laughs> so, Sorry. Sorry. Stupid. What's hate? I'm trying to introduce you to... Hi. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I had to get a straw, and I had to get my mar. I'm here now. <coughs> oh, okay. oh, my God. Lovely well, to meet you. It's just happened. <laughs> I can't wait to see oh, you. Oh, my God. You sound like an absolute treasure. Heather, Hi. maybe you can be part of Miserable with Miz this week. We can just do a live Miserable yeah, with Miz. Do, do you want to be too. part? Heather. Wait. Is this? This is Heather, Heather? Yeah. This is, is this my Heather? Heather? Literally. No. This isn't my Heather. No, this is your Heather. Okay. This is cousin Heather. This okay. Is still, still amazing. Heather so should we, should we do, should we do should the intro? The yeah. yeah. Do it. Don't. Don't, Does he don't. have COVID? Hold on. Don't. No, don't. obviously not. Oh. Miserable with Miz. So this. So, Jim. 
Can Wait, you I like that. Can that you please? The song is great. If we could just get Jim to shut the fuck up, then that would be great. I um like that. I think it makes you want to dance. A- excellent. I love that. So, Heather, awesome. tell me yeah. why you're miserable right now. Because I have COVID. So, you got COVID. Now what? What 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 does life look like for you beyond COVID? Hospice. And what is Wait, what? I need hospice. You need hospice. Yeah. Honestly, fucking same. I'm with you on that. So tell me, like, what has your COVID experience been like? Do you feel like a second class citizen or do you not? What? Exactly. I um, can't hear you. Oh, you can't hear me? Why can't you hear me, oh, Bubbles? That is so much better. You sounded oh, so Okay. Okay. I guess I'll scream into the microphone. Um, so you. you have COVID and you hate it, I assume. I mean, it was fine to have off work for 10 days paid. Right, and right. I, and it was nice because the company I worked for gave me $750 on Grubhub. Honestly, I wish I could get that. So maybe I'll just go out and get fucking COVID. But how do you feel, like, emotionally about getting COVID? Um, fine. You feel fine about it? Yeah. And how do we think it, it came to be? It's a very contagious virus, so correct. Who knows? <laughs> what, were you, what were you doing though? Yeah, like so, like I mean, it's very contagious, but like, oh. like where do you think I got it? Yeah, um, it could honestly be anywhere. I mean, I think I got it from the gym. The gym. Because so, were you on the stairmaster, the, the elliptical, the weights? Like, what was it? Um, the treadmill. The treadmill. Honestly. Or the the tanning bed. How they're a woman after my own heart. Gotta keep tan in the middle of the Honestly, pandemic. if you can't tone it, tan it. I'm with you, babe. <gasps> I think it was probably from this. It's probably from the tanning bed because I was very good about cleaning and wearing my mask. And then the tanning bed. Just and then the tanning, tanning bed. bed. It all went but to like, shit in the tanning were you bed. Just like humping some man in a tanning bed. Or like what? What? what, what like how no, but, do you get it from a tanning bed? <laughs> just like were you germs. Licking, just licking just the like tanning bed. No, but you don't have to lick things. It's so it's airborne. You can get right? a tan line Wait, of a fucking mask, Jim. But I Heather, just... can you just tell me what what like gradient you are right now? Because I love tans. I just want to know like how dark you are. Because I love that. N- not dark anymore. <gasps> Heather, pale. Heather, you pale. pale now. She looks like a Norse. She lives man. in Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, Heather, you live in Cleveland. Yeah, so she's two hours north of us. Oh my god, I love that for you. Where, what, right. um, what gym do you go to? Planet Fitness or? Yeah, but I thought I was trying to interview you. This is the thing. I need to get to know more about you. You want to interview just... me? She doesn't eat the free yeah. pizza. By the oh, way. interesting. Okay, Heather. She does not touch the free pizza. No, are you ever. kidding me? My girl Heather in the tanning bed is not going near the pizza. Never. She's looking right. She's not looking snatched. No, no. I'm into that. So, okay. Heather, what do you want to know? Who are you? I'm Claire. You good I work in financial reporting, and I'm a <laughs> member of She's Not Doing So Well. <laughs> do you love it? Reporting. I love She's Not Doing So Well because Bubbles is the best. Do you I'm know who Bubbles, Bubbles is? Oh, oops. <laughs> oh. Your cousin You're Bobby's Bubbles. Girl? Bubbles is my boss. I'm Bubbles. <laughs> Bubbles wants to be the boss, but I don't think he is. Who's the boss? Not you. Bubbles Why? is. I don't feel like you're very, like, like you're not, I don't feel like there's a boss. Huh. I, it's oh. Interesting. Huh. There's not supposed to be a boss. It's not even my, like, it's. Right. It's, like, I think it's just very neutral. Like, you, you value everybody's opinions. You don't, like, you're not very bossy. Huh. So is that a good thing or a bad thing? Sounds no, bad. I think it's, like, a good thing. I feel like everybody, like, being there and witnessing it firsthand, I feel like it's very equal. Like, it's fun. Like, we know you're, like, the main host, but I don't think that you're... Not, though. Oh, you don't, like, uh, dictate things and... We just went there. Well, I mean, I do edit, produce, send, make material. <laughs> I mean, he I just... has his... like, the manager, though. Listen, like, the boss he is, like... Is, like the right. boss is, like... The talent is elsewhere, but he is the manager. Yeah, like, I yeah. literally produce it from top to bottom, top beginning to, to bottom. end. When I hear boss, I feel like somebody that's, like, micromanaging everything. To be honest, you're I would welcome. love to actually hire a producer for us, and I cannot... Like oh, I can afford it. I was supposed to be your social media person, and I wasn't allowed. <gasps> no, I never said you weren't allowed. 
you changed your password and kicked me off Instagram. So <laughs> I don't remember that. Oh, Bobby's oh, getting really? banned. No, actually, I Bubbles. Uh, Bubbles is banned. Wow, this, inter- this interview has gone belly off off the rails. A belly. <laughs> Belly. No, Wait, so belly. so Heather, at Christmas when you see Bobby, do you call him Belly? No, I just say what's up, Fatty. Yeah, we'll say hey, Fatty. Well, we I both call each other like, fat, kind of. Well, That's yeah, what's fun about it. Sometimes you have to. It's like a mutual agreement. So it's not like I'm calling him fat behind his back. Like we both. Well, know we're fat. I, don't, I don't write to Jim and say, "Look at Heather, she's fat." I would say, "Heather, I you do. look fat." Do you I know do. what I'm saying? Why don't you though? I, I mean, I hope you Because I don't talk shit. If she I looks say it right fat, to your face. She looks fat. Like, just do right. it. If you look fat, I would just say, hey, you look fat. Like, uh, when I said, I lost seven pounds, I'm so skinny. And you go, eh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there are times where Bobby's like, look at See, me. See, the truth comes out because Miz was a little bit upset when I was first telling him the story. And then I was like, but I also call her fat, too. And he's like, what? And I'm right. Like, it's a Midwest thing. Okay, so both oh, of you call hair, each like, other fat. So none of it matters, basically. Right. It love doesn't that. matter. He's not in the Midwest. to me. Yeah. Love no. it. You know what? I love that. We're well. chubby and comfortable. That's what it comes down to. Oh, that is the name of the episode. Chubby and comfortable. Chubby and Honestly, comfortable. I would say too Unlike comfortable. our last guest, who was chubby and uncomfortable, uncomfortable. at certain points. Who was that? <laughs> Whoever had to work out and sweat to get unpuffy. <laughs> Aaron, uh, oh, what do you wear to work oh, out? Shit. Leggings, uh, trash bags. Jim I was shirtless on. today. I wore trash bags. Jim, where the fuck is I your Peloton? What? That's like a wrestler diet. My Peloton's not coming till February fifth. Michael's getting his soon though. Oh my god! You, Everyone, at me, Heather, do the Peloton. Oh. No, I'm not rich. Oh. Sorry. Neither am I. Neither am I. But I love. I mean, I just live in New York. Are you guys paid to be? Wait, this is the real question. Are you guys getting paid to do this? No, yes. of course not. No, not <laughs> yet. Peloton pays us per. Who said yeah? Minute, like Bobby minute. doesn't pay you guys to be his employees. We should. Well, honestly, for what we're doing, we should get paid. But... To be honest with you, I do want to make it a business because I can write it off. Bobby can't pay for this. Like you could write it off on your taxes. The government pays for it. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. The goal is by 2020. You have to file a separate business owner tax return yeah. so the incomes can't get. Wait, can I ask you about? <laughs> oh, I need to ask the Miz about accounting. You want to know my goal? I, I would sure. absolutely love to know your goal. Okay, 32 yes, men by the age of 32. <gasps> You slut. You're Wait, 32. what do you want to do by the ta- by the time you're 32? Oh my god. 32 new men. Go, stop. You're old. By the time you're 32? Yeah, that's... Four years? <laughs> Two and a half years. Oh yeah, you're each other's age, kind <laughs> of. Is Darla barking? Okay. Yeah. Darla, well, shut up. Well, this has been another up. Miserable with Miz. <laughs> dun. Dun, dun. Darla! <laughs> Who the fuck is Darla? Darla's a cunt. Who is Darla? Your cunt. Oh, is that a dog? Oh, and that's the other thing that I heard that you were talking shit about June. And she is trash. I mean, Darla's better than June. I will always think that. I hate true to that. say that. I hate to say that it's true. I hate both your fucking dogs. Well, well. Oh, you're just miserable. She, he's, she's miserable. Uh, your dog uh, suck. Uh, with uh, uh. Fuck Wait, your fucking dogs, bitch. Yeah, no. he's gonna come he's, soon. Once it all ends, we're gonna take him to Gasworks. I need to go to Gasworks because there's a fucking a dolphin, right? Time, I mean, like me. Yeah, you, you need straight cock. He needs straight cock. I need, need straight, straight cock. cock. Honestly, to, to we'll go survive. hunt for dick together. I need straight <gasps> cock yeah, like yesterday. Have you guys ever watched more. Chuck Hunters? I mean, Heather's gone to Gasworks. Heather, you been to Gasworks? Oh, I love it there. With an E? I want to go so right. bad. Wait, did you ride the pony? Or the shark? Is it a shark? Cool. The shark. No. I thought you were going to get just, We just, like, verbally raped these men. <gasps> oh, my yeah, God. I want to verbally there. rape men so bad. All I want is it that. It was bad. Bobby, wasn't it bad? It was bad. It was bad. Was I was convincing bad. these straight guys that they were gay. Yeah, so she was helping us coax in straight guys, and she was like, He's questioning. I go, how do you know? She goes, I can just tell. I'm like, there was love one that. guy, Leo. Leo definitely oh, was Leo. Remember that night? Leo. Every Leo time we go to Gasworks, there's was. a straight there's encounter a- that we're going to try to see Dick. So just get your bags packed and get ready. And okay. Leo definitely was questioning himself, though. 
Yes. Heather will be like, this is my cousin. He's gay. And then she'll go talk to Leo. And then she'd come back and go, he's questioning himself. I just know this it. This is my cousin. This is my cousin. He's, he's gay. gay. He's fat and gay. He's a fat gay. He's a fat fan gay. fat gay. You like a fat gay? Jim. Oh, you're not fat. You're just chubby. It's he's true. a chubby gay. Okay, but, but everyone material yet. in here is beautiful. Aww, it's true. We're all pretty in our own way. Miss, you're just like... Positive energy and vibes. Wearing that champion. I mean, Heather doesn't agree, but <laughs> <laughs> look at him in that champion birthday. Oh, uh, we gotta go over that champion. We gotta go bullshit. over champion. Because I were champion. Wait, I want to talk about. Oh. I want to talk about cousins weekend and um, oh. your friend that's coming. No, he's not coming. He can't come. Oh, why? Because his clit got cut off. He can't come. What's going on? Clit is cut off. The clit's cut off. He's not coming. The clit. Who's coming oh, over? No one's coming. You don't need to know. He's Who's coming. Who's coming? Over. Nobody's coming. Jim no tries to, to fuck come. every guy. Nobody's that coming. Needs. That's not I true. I like that about him. I know. Who? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. But he's Heather. Do you think weekend. Jim and Bobby what? say ing's weird? Yes. I need you to put like that mic what? down. I yeah, like put it in the, put it okay, in the holster. Well, every time I put holster it in here, like no one can hear I'm me because everyone just talks right all the Boom. fuck over me. Exactly what's happening right now. Sorry, right, Miz. I'm listening to you. I just didn't hear what you said. No, I don't have a question. I know, but you said, do they say something weird? No, I never said anything like that. You're lying. Okay. Oh. oh my god. Okay, bye. Bye, Heather. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Love Jeez, you. Love you too. Bye. We're in trouble. Oh my god. She's gone. She's god, gone. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, Miss, stop. Miss, no. Miss, are you mad? Don't. I'm never mad. Don't. Girl, come back. I don't get mad. Sip your prickly pear and come back. <laughs> I'm back. I'm here. I need you to not never turn me off ever. Oh, I love turning people off. No. <sighs> if you're gonna fuck me, like fuck me gently. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, like obviously this episode's off to a really great start, uh, per usual. My question is, how are we all handling? It? I clearly we're not handling what's happening in this country very well because we're all. Well, I'm drunk and high. Jim is absolutely gone. Miz is miserable, but he's drinking a, a, a tequila. So by like 20 minutes from now, with the, towards the end of the show, he's going to be all over the place. I just, I just uh -huh. have something to say about. Okay. Oh, we're in trouble. Okay, we're getting <laughs> about I'm ready. I'm the ready. events that transpired on Wednesday, okay. and all I have to say is, all all I have to say is if you in any tangential way shape or form enabled these people to feel that they had the right to do whatever they did then you should absolutely fucking kill yourself and if you did not then carry on wow i've never agreed i'm not even a pull shade that's a I, true i wow the fcc is gonna shut us down we're getting banned from and, twitter just like and trump. what that means is if you voted for trump in 2016 kill yourself if you ever voted for a republican ever in your life kill yourself if you are uh, if you I maintain friendly relationships with republicans oh, kill yourself okay that is my view on that wow so, so everyone's dead Mitt romney so if, if like, you, you voted younger... for republicans yes goodbye oh bye Gotta go. Here's the problem. Can I just say my piece, and he can say his after. Mm -hmm. I grew Speak up in the, your piece. I grew up in the South. Okay? okay. Sure. So like, it was hard for, and also I was a closeted gay who mm -hmm. didn't have supportive uh -huh. Democratic. I never knew a gay person. We didn't have black friends. Like, I didn't know Spanish people. Everything was white. Everything was white. We live in a golf course. Uh -huh. okay. So, I was raised Republican, and I didn't know oh. enough of the world yet to know what that really meant. So when I first voted, I was 18, I think. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you were legal. Hopefully you were 18. No, it was, after, it was the second vote. Bush. Yeah, voting. I, voted, I voted for Bush after 9-11. Okay. <laughs> so that was my reasoning. I was like, yeah. And I didn't think, I don't know who was it, John Kerry that was running against him? Yep, who 2004. Yeah. Yep. So that was like my first time voting, and that's where I was at. And I was like, well, I like Bush because he handled the crisis and blah, blah. Then Did after you? that, I wasn't really sure. Well, then I really liked. This is going to sound bad too. 
I really like John McCain because I thought it was a hero. Like he wasn't like I wasn't looking at it as a gay man. I was looking at it as a straight person. That, well, straight. So John McCain versus Obama. You're like John McCain. Well, I like John McCain's story. I didn't know Obama. And again, nobody talked about Obama in my circle because everybody was Republican. Stop, Jim, or I'm going to kick <laughs> you off the show. I already warned you earlier. No, you know what, though? It's fine. I'm Everyone can have their own political views. I got Everyone... the pork chop. You're getting pork chopped. I'm getting pork chopped. Everyone deserves the right to have their own political views. If Bitch, you... I never voted for Obama, not one. If you like, ever enable. Bobby's not the only one. Bobby's Eden. not the only one. Okay, okay. Oh, we're getting but I just, we're just learning something we're here. Just I, just learning. Want, I just want you to know that we came from very conservative households. It's bad. So, like, and it's we bad. also were like, that's why we didn't come out. We weren't all born in Vermont. And neither was I, so you're right. Not New Hampshire. New Hampshire, where the fuck you pilgrim? New Hampshire. Pilgrims ah, came to Massachusetts, not New Hampshire. I'm a pilgrim. But yeah, so I, I have to echo your statement, though. I mean, I agree with you. I think that we gotta get it's rid of very them. interesting to me that people that I know that are close to me, mm -hmm. um, they want to blast Facebook last night yep. uh, about all this bullshit, including some pretty fucked up things against the LGBT. Yep. QIA plus all the pluses. all of that. Well, that's what I said to my uncle. He voted for Trump. And, I mean, can I just like elaborate on my statement? Like my yes. statement was actually correct. Like if you voted for Republicans, I fucking hate you ever. But more Holy. so in the last four to eight years, like yep. you need to absolutely take ownership for that in recent yeah. times. If you in two thousand two thousand four. You know, social issues weren't at as much stake as they are right now. Yeah, so correct. they weren't. If you didn't vote on social issues, fine, because you might have thought they were stagnant and in place and not changing. Great, good for you. But that's not the case right now. So if you no. voted for Republicans because you are like fiscally conservative, fuck yourself. But I again, make more money than you, so fuck you. And can I elaborate on something? Yeah. Sure. So where I grew up, oh. everybody was Republican, right? So those same people are still Republican because they've never gotten out of this bubble. They are like stuck in this small town. Like this is who we are. They don't go anywhere that has any diversity. They're going right. to go to Panama city or like Destin, Florida. Um, so that's where I kind of get sad for people that still live at home. Cause I'm like, you're Yikes. embarrassing. Yeah. You're saying you love I Trump because you're not world experience. Do you, I mean, I want to have this level of compassion for people, but in, Except for when people like that come and scale the Capitol and <laughs> threaten to like, yeah, behead a lot of people in Congress. Now. Like, that makes me want to hate every single person who's ever voted Republican. I'm I sorry. Would, yeah. Extreme measures go, like, are met with extreme thoughts. And, like, well, if that's what's going to happen, then I fucking hate everyone who's ever voted Republican. They are literally ready to take us out. So we have to ask ourselves are we If ready you to wanted take to handle out? this in a, in a normal, cordial way, I'd be normal yeah. and cordial to people how who are you think gonna like talk that. through this like how are you gonna talk through this when they want to kill you like, oh so you came in with twist ties oh. and wanted to crucify mike pence fine but like maybe we just say like Aww. could you could you think about like thinking differently i'm All not you like do you do can't is... do that I, it's not it's a whole different world and bobby and i have both had some issues with family members where they've been texting comments. and comments and people have said things like Oh, well, the Democrats started this. And I was like, oh, how? Uh, how? How? Oh, I'm sorry. When did the Democrats bring a gun to the floor of the House? Uh, never? I'm just checking, never. Oh, well, that was Antifa. I mean, we are literally like down a dark hole. It's dark. Where people, it's dark. Certain family members and friends are just lost this forever. This goes back to like the internet, and it though. Does. Like, this is crazy. Yeah. Like, we're, we're, we're killing ourselves. Like, we are literally shutting ourselves down because we've given so much information that the human mind can't handle it and can't decipher what's right or wrong. And pretty soon it's going to be so washed that literally nobody's going to really know what's going on because nobody's going to know what's real or what's not. Except for the Miz. Miz can Except tell. for look me. At him. Look at him. <laughs> no, he's no, 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 like, no. you, no, my God, I don't. you, you look no, so I don't. cute tonight. You do like, no, I don't know. No, you're lighting birthday. up. It's a birthday glow or something. No, it's not it's a birthday a prickly glow. Pear. I look like, like shit. Prickly no. no, you don't. You look really cute. You look, no, I look cute. awful. But what I, I will say. Could listen or no, listeners they can't. Actually, this might actually go on the website because. Yeah, we got a show. Because here's the thing. I know how to block your face now. Block my face. I look like shit. Oh, really? Just mine? Yeah. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. What I'll yeah. say is, uh -huh. yeah, yes, I, say it. There comes a time where, like, oh. I don't fucking care how you grew up, how you 
we're exposed to things. You need to fucking think for your fucking self and understand what the fuck is going on and know that this is not how things are supposed to fucking work. And if you can't think that way, then you're a fucking idiot and I don't give a fuck what happens to you. Like, I, I, right. you know, like, I, I, you need to understand when things cross a line. Wow. It's not, oh, I've always thought this way. Oh, I was growing up this way. Oh, this yes. is how my family thinks. No, fuck that. You Oops. need to understand what the fuck is happening and what's you, right and what's wrong. Uh, you would have killed Preach, me. Preach, because it's me, true. Me, 2012, and I'd be dead with No, you but it's different. Me. No, you wouldn't, because you, you weren't voting me. on something that is so vile and so yeah, disgusting. That's true. That's true. But then so also right kind of now, you of... need to understand that. Back then, maybe. Fine. You can use those excuses. Right Right now, fuck no. You fuck need it. to understand. Yeah. If in 2016 you voted for Donald Trump, you're done. You were already going down a fucking slippery slope. Yeah, true. And now, That's if true. You, because now let me say something worse. really quick. It's really weird because so, to some point I'm like, okay, this is good, but like after they got attacked, they all were huddled, and then they came back, and literally about 98 percent of them were all on board with the same. This is America. We got to like really do this right. You had some dumb fuck still like Josh Hawley or whatever his fucking name is. Who yeah. I know sucks dick. Like I know he sucks dick. Oh, for sure. He's a full power bottom. You can just totally tell by the way he talks and he's trying to be funny. He's the devil. And Oops. so this is where I'm at. I think there's going to be a lot of minds changed. And I really think this really could split up the Republican Party into two parties. Yeah. What fucking and they'll never get, And I hope it does because they'll never get power again. It better. But what what? makes me worried is like both trump and biden broke the record for the most votes for a candidate this year like right there are many people out there that do not agree with what we're saying right and so there's nothing we can do about that but i also think it's because they didn't see like they didn't they were blinded by everything but then this capital attack i think a lot of people were like oh my god like one right. of our friends dave he which is such a fucking bullshit. Why did it come to this for people right. to understand this? Right. Like, where are the people who are going to be in, like, the hardcover third grade history book? They're, they're like, wow, those fucking idiots did that. Where them? Oh, where them? We they're going to be like, oh, why didn't those people leave America? And we're going to be like, <laughs> oh, no, because they love America. Like, where them? We read it's about really them scary. and where them. I feel like... <sighs> You know what really pisses me off? Me and Jim talked about this. The uh -huh. picture of the um, Confederate flag in the rotunda. In there, that was, yeah. That was I it. have never. Yeah, that was it for me. Been more like I'm not like Mr. Patriotic. I'm not like, oh my god, America. My country. But I am proud of my country at times, and I'm proud to live here, and I'm happy to live here. But I'm really needing some change. And you're change. not trying to be a white supremacist, right? So when I exactly. see though a Confederate flag, I'm like. You are in literally the capital. opposite of you what you're trying to do. If I see a Confederate flag fought, anywhere, we that was like the South was rising again. Okay. You lost a war. You lost a war. We had a civil war to fight you, and then you fly you lost, your flag. And everyone still capital. continues to fucking hate you. Yep. You need. It's, and I love America, but when I say I love America, I love some certain parts. the thought of it. <laughs> some parts of certain America. areas. Of you America. like the ideal it's, of America. We like the idea of. Yeah, we like the idea of America, but the actual when America, I say I that marry it, trash. American hubs should be America, I yeah. absolutely have no remorse. That means New York, L.A., Columbus, oh, Miami. Girl, those Columbus is a real hub. No. That's a real hub. Mm -hmm. It's a hub. a hub because it really is a good. It pushes a lot Boston, of material. Boston, like you know, stuff like that. Dallas, da oh. like stuff like that. Those Jackson, are the American cities. Ask me if I give a fuck about any city in South Dakota. South Dakota could burn up in flames. Ask me if I'd shed a single fucking tear. I would not. <laughs> oh, you and your whole legacy family burned There's... to crisp in South Dakota? Oh, ha <laughs> ha I don't give a Yay. fuck. There's a scene, but anyways. I mean, sorry. I'm so confused. <sighs> fuck me. Well, we're going to go ahead and omit this whole section. Yep, we're going to have to. <laughs> okay. Well, that was embarrassing because. What was, do you know, can you just summarize it? And I'll find it. Just summarize Jim, so we can it, talk about wait, it. Wait, is this the more you know? Like, did we play the intro music? Oh, yeah. Play the... Talk play about it. it. You got to talk about it, then I'll find the clip before I... Like, you know what I'm saying? No. The More You Know with Jim. Jim, that's... Stop. Stop. You're going to knock over the table. I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. I'm what gonna table? literally Who's fucking table? kill you. This one oh. it has like the really With the Rotocaster? I would never hurt the Rotocaster. <laughs> oh my god, that piece of equipment. Just chug your kitty paw, honey. Pulse. 
I'm in trouble. Look at me. I deal with. I, I'm you know. a, I am in trouble today. Uh, what are you going to tell us, Jim? There's literally nothing to tell you. <laughs> I want to tell you. Actually, you know what we need to talk about? Because a bunch of parents are fucking confused. Let's just chat about the First Amendment and what exactly it protects you from and what it prevents you from being harmed from. Because I've heard a lot of parents being like, Oh my God, the president is not being allowed to talk on Twitter. What about the First Amendment? Okay, the First Amendment <laughs> protects you from the government. The government restricting your free speech it does not protect you from a corporation <laughs> such as oh i don't know twitter or instagram or whatever the fuck restricting your speech so when you sign into any of these accounts and you go on to some website and you scroll through their long ass terms of service and at the bottom you click yes i read and yes i agree and then you post your heart away and you incite violence and insurrection and try to overtake the capital for example trump you know what if you violate those, if you violate those terms they can kick you the fuck off and that's not violating the First Amendment. That's not what the First Amendment is about. And let me just go on a little mass grant here as well. <laughs> you know what? If you're going to go into a, a business and they say, you know what? You have to wear a shirt. You have to wear shoes. You have to wear a mask to come in here. You got to follow their rules. I don't care about your disability or whatever the fuck else. Is oh that ableist? God. No, it's not ableist. These people will try to cite the ADA and all these other laws that they don't understand and say but what you know if what? they just can't wear a mask there are no people who can't wear a mask it's bullshit <laughs> there are, i can't breathe if a what private, if i don't have a nose no not allowed if a private business <laughs> wants to make a rule you have to follow it and if you can't follow it then you can't go in the private business do we all remember the christian baker who wouldn't give gay couples cakes gay for their weddings <laughs> no. yeah that's right well why don't we just think of twitter like that it's a Christian baker, and Trump is the gay couple who wants a cake. Well, guess what? You can't have it. You Bye. can't have your cake and eat it too, honey. You can't have your cake. Get out, you dumb bitch. You dumb bitch. This and is the, this is the more you know. I'm pissed. This I'm is done. the best more you know. Oh my I've god, ever. this is the best more you know ever. I'm Jim. ranting. I'm just ranting. I'm done. But you know, you're ranting. I'm tired. People. I literally have family members telling me like, "Have you ever read the Constitution?" I'm like, "Have you?" Yeah. Have you? You're complaining about Twitter kicking Trump off. It is a corporation deciding what they want on their platform. That is fully allowed. Also, freedom of speech only goes so far. Once you start breaking, like, yep. when you're, like, causing chaos within the government, that's... The government can yeah. then say, no, 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 You can't just be like, everybody go blow up everything, and you actually physically have people running towards the Capitol, and yeah. you're like, yeah, I'll be there. Let's march down Pennsylvania Avenue and take over and fight! And then he's yeah. freedom of speech, baby. Like, like how embarrassing. Off. I'm sorry. You fuck can just tell off. a Trump supporter okay. that road hard. Honestly, no like yeah. ISIS <laughs> is looking at us being like, like that we got to go bomb them yesterday. Uh, like, Iran you know, is going like, to fucking get us. I hope fucking so. Ethiopia is like, oh my God, they're a mess. Oh, yeah. Like we when are the laughing. That... We're the laughing stock of the world. And you know what? That's fine. No. No, you're good. Keep it in front of Keep you. Keep it. Like where your No, where your where? where your margarita is where your mic needs to be. My mic was further away from the margarita. Under your, under my, your butt. I'm putting my heel under my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I had a crazy thing happen. I already told Jim, but I can tell the story to you. What happened? So on Thursday at like 6 30, my neighbor calls me. Jack Hay. She's fun. Jack Hay. Yeah, Jack Hay. She gives me a lot of ideas for the show. But so this is another idea. She goes, have fun with your podcast. I'm like, okay. She calls me. And whenever we call each other, it means like it's serious. You know what I mean? Like it's not, yeah. we'll text each other all day long. But if it's a call, like something's going on at the house, something's going on. So of course, I had just like took a little puff because I was like tired and it was like a long day the day before. So I was like, I want to relax. So I'm high is basically what I'm saying. So she calls me and goes, someone's in my backyard. And I go, what? What? And she goes, somebody's in my backyard. Somebody's in my backyard. And I'm like, okay, okay, like, where Wait, are you? What? Wait, where and was she? She was on a walk with her dog and got, like, a, I guess, a message from her camera that said, you know, there's motion in your backyard. And she checked, and there was somebody standing in her back fucking yard by her door and her back, her garage. Now, we live in an area that 
um, is up and coming, if you want to say. Sure. So, I mean, some places, it's a little dangerous on Main Street. Sorry. And so this guy was just roaming around. I don't know if he want, wanted to harm anything or not. But so then I'm on the phone with her, and she's like, I'm on my way. I'm walking. I'm almost close. I'm close. I'm walking. And she has a pit bull, so she's, like, not scared. And I'm like, I'm scared. I'm like, I can't see him, though, because he's behind this tree that I'm, like, I can't see in her backyard. So he, were, he like, starts to leave, and I'm like, Jackie, I just saw your motion light go off. And she goes, he's running. He's running. And she goes, I see him. I see him. And I go, where are you? She's running <laughs> towards him. He's running towards her. I go out on the front porch, and he darts away, and she goes running past him and then goes, he's right behind me. He's right behind me. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, oh it was God. like, so I was like, get in the house, and I see him dart across the street. So I tell you this because then I was like, well, you got to call the police. Right. Gotta call the police and report it. I'm like, so she called and she's like, it's not an emergency, but somebody's in my backyard, blah, blah, blah. So tell me why then I had two police officers that were hot as fuck in my house. They're hot as fuck? Hot. Like, just out of the academy hot. Like, hot. Like, Oh my yes. god, no way. Like, they were hot. And oh, so they're standing that. in my living room. I'm high. Jackie's like, you know, being a single lady, like, trying to get their attention, I'm like, girl, right. they want my dick, not you. But that's actually an <laughs> argument me and her always have. We'll argue at the bar for the bartender. I'll be like, he wants me. And she'll be like, no, he wants me. I'm like, well, maybe he wants us both. Like, we maybe always just, just joke. So anyway, I had police officers in my house, um, and they were hot. And I was like, so I asked, the, I was like, do you think he's, like, threatening? And they're like, I don't know. Like, he hasn't done anything. Like, they, I guess they had seen him earlier, and he was kind of, like, not in the head. So regardless, that was my Thursday. Do you think they're threatening? Yeah, I'm like, do you think they're threatening? They're like, I don't know. And then the really fucked up thing that they said, though, and I'm quoting, I said, Jackie's like, I don't, you know, I'm sorry to bother you. I know you're busy. You probably have so much more to do. And they're like, no, there hasn't been a shooting tonight. <laughs> now, I don't know if you know about Columbus, but there's been like two shootings of black Americans. I don't know about Columbus. Is that here? Black? Of black people. In what that one guy was carrying a subway sandwich and they just shot him in the back. And there's another guy that got killed here like two weeks after that. So that's like within the past three weeks. So oh there God. I am, like, so, um, and then they leave. And Jackie's like, I, you know, I know everybody doesn't like police officers, but fuck, they're hot. I'm like, yeah, they're hot as shit. It's just, what are they gonna do to? Oh my god! Wait, did you talk to any? Are any of them coming to fuck you or what? I really was like, there was like a Wait, fantasy. Can fantasy I just thing. ask, like, yeah. can you fuck people even though you're in a relationship? Oh, uh, me and Michael are definitely not open, um, but we're like, if we're out of town, we'll like download an app and just like be fun. But we never have. We've only done it once. Like met up with another couple in Vegas. We're in Vegas. Oh my god, he gets hooked up with another couple. Yeah, but it was just like a very light petting. It was not, we were very like, I was like nervous. I don't know why, because I've been in rooms with men plenty of times. We also went to like the bathhouse. Ooh, so I love bath like, house. but we were like together. So we were like putting on a performance. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I was not going to be like, so that's what I like. That's, that's our like fun when we go out of town. We're like, let's try to like, we've actually met people and like gone to the bar and met them. And like, usually they're not what they look like. And usually they're not as great as they sounded on text, but. They're like, welcome to North Carolina. And I'm like, thanks. We got stuck in North Carolina one time. And we like met this gay couple and they were. What? Is Mikey here? No, oh, he's fucking Sean. He's okay, can you close the door? Yeah. I thought I heard him. Jim. Be nice. He's fucking, he he's fucking I'm not worried about any of that. I would be. Why? Why, Why don't you worry Jim? about your own fucking relationship? I am worried about my own relationship. I'm worried about my relationship and I'm worried about your relationship. Don't worry about me, well. honey. It's good. Honey, don't worry about my good. relationship, babe. Your boys. Don't push others. your problems on mine. Oh, I'm sorry. He's busy. He's busy with pussy. Um, does it look like I care? I can get fucking dick anytime I want. Good luck. And don't fuck it up. And don't fuck it up. You're getting the pork chop. Anyway, that's Drew, Drew Paul. <laughs> Drew Paul. My fiance is. His fiance is like, um, have you seen Broke Back Mountain? Oh, Lord. No. Have you seen Ennis on Broke I knew. Mountain? I knew you haven't. I know, seen right? Broke Back He's Mountain. too young. No, he's not even too young. He's not. He's scared of his gay self. He is. And he is. <laughs> and we're going to go to New York and gay I'm him up. I'm a straight up. skinny boy. I'm going to embarrass the shit out of him. They're like, <laughs> hey, queens. I'm going to be clapping my fan like, clap, 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 uh, clap, 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 like, clap. He's going to be clapping. I'll be clapping that ass. <laughs> oh, girl. Clap his ass. 
Because my ass is supposedly looking better, but whatever. It is looking Wait, tight. can we see it? Can we no, see it? Yeah, I don't, I'm pull not, it no, I don't. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. I'll make him take a picture. Pull it up. I don't like this camera. Pull it up. Pull it up. No, I don't like it. No. Uh-huh. I'm not a piece of fucking meat. You are. You're a big piece of meat. No, I'll send you a picture. <laughs> Honey, you're a pork chop. You're the pork chop. Oh, Jim. Girl, you a pork chop. Where did he go? Oh, I can't hear you. Oh, he gone. Oh my god, you're there, but you're very low. Did you he turn gone. down something? Did you turn down something? <laughs> did you turn down something? Say something. <gasps> Yay. Oh no, gone. I can't hear you. It's almost a good thing. Did you mute yourself? Did you click mute? Oh, he drunk. Am I back? He's oh back. My <laughs> ah! Oh my god! I turned it off by accident what is on that? purpose. Oh my god, oh what my is that? God. What is that? Okay. What is um, that? Oh, Anthony le Oh, Mi Dave left. Dave left his shirt that I got him. <laughs> Dave is always going to leave your shirt because he doesn't care. That's what you do too, though, so... Same. Such a fucking asshole to me. S Oh, I'm getting kicked off. He kind of is. Like he's on his last. Bye. He's on his last leg. <laughs> it was wait, fun. What? He keeps <laughs> talking shit. He wants have to have fun taking over, Miz. It was wait, fun. Why the... Bye. <laughs> Jim, Jim, don't be, we can't don't be do ridiculous. it without you. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. <laughs> What's happening? Jim. I'm sorry, I'm back. I'm Actually, here. Actually, I think you should start showing your face. We'd probably have way more listeners. I absolutely agree with that. Like, why do we pussy. need to be so You don't have to be secluded. on the You don't have to be like on the picture every time. He thinks he's like Can a celebrity I be on the spectrum. Right. You're thinks, like, oh, I can't be seen. They're gonna know about me. No, they're not. They're gonna know. Once you see Who's this mom, they? The hot the whatever the police and that the you capital work rioters the people who are storming our capital no, we're gonna have to get you to show your face because this is getting ridiculous because the thing is, is we could really grow if you showed your face i don't know about that i do because been people in the mrs face for months and nothing's happened because no that's not has because i'm it. ugly as fuck no you oops you'd be more up front and people would be more like they would be like okay we actually know who jim is not this fucking mask Nothing kills me like when Bobby just turns and oh, pushes he loves it that too. He used to make fun of me because I'm like, <laughs> bitch. Okay, bitch. I think we need to set a date for you to show your face. All right, let's set Maybe it. Maybe when we go yeah, to New Jim, York. Yeah, can Jim, the... can we show your face, Jim? All right, when we go to New York, we'll do it. Oh, okay, he's waiting six months. At least. Well, no, why like, you guys come like I'm tomorrow? I'm being responsible and I'm not going to PV next month. Okay, Aaron. Oh, why don't you come job. to I'm going to go to PV. Why don't you come to New York tomorrow? <gasps> this bitch wants us to drive over there. Oh, We're not going to do she's it. She's slurring. <laughs> this <laughs> bitch over here. <laughs> you know what I do need to get for the studio, though, is a yes. refrigerator. Yeah, I've been saying that for months. Why don't you give me one? Oh, I'm sorry I'm not rich like you. Oh, I'm... Oh, we have all this money rolling in from ads, and you can't buy a refrigerator. <laughs> Actually, wow. No, I could. Podcorn. I, no podcorn. No Patreon. I there's Patreon. I haven't spent any of the money. Oh, okay. Well, good because I've been paying most of it. <laughs> I know. Patreon, ten dollars a month, and you'll get a blowjob. And oh. look at me. I have had zero blowjobs, and I've paid ten dollars a month for the past three months. <sighs> I'm lazy with blowjobs. You don't want one. For Jim, me. do you like blowjobs? I thought you didn't. I really don't, to be honest. He like, doesn't like anything. I feel crotch. like it's a waste. It's I like feel like you don't like having a penis. You just want your asshole plugged. I no, he just wants to like, masturbate. And what look I, at Twitter. Well, that I really kind of want a vagina and just want straight guys to plow me. Yeah, have you heard this? Yet? I don't think you've heard this yet. But so, if some guy were to be like, "I want to suck your dick," you'd be like, "No." I'd be like, "I want to suck your dick." I'd be like, "How long is it going to take?" Is what I would ask. I mean, honestly. But what if some guy wanted to eat your ass? You'd say yes. Yeah, that's pretty good. I would do that. See, I. It's fine. As I get older, I'm like, I don't know. Like, I think I'm just it's weathered. It's dirty. Yeah, it is. It's weathered. weathered. Once you get past thirty, it's weathered, honey. <laughs> It's wrinkly. Okay. It's a wrinkly up. asshole. Be that pussy up. Be that pussy up. I mean, I know I could get my ass eaten anytime I wanted. No. But... No. Oh, absolutely. Where? Do you know who I am? In what city? Right here in this house. <laughs> no, no. Uh, oh. In this house. In this house, I could get my ass eaten. I'm here. Maybe when you are here. Ew. Maybe in the hot tub, I'll just pull down my pants and lean over. 
Oh my you god. You can eat this fat ass, bitch. Eat the cookie face. Oh my god, your cousin would be gagging. She'd be like, that fat fox. Gagging. Like, belly. 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 Fat ass. Belly. <laughs> I'm gagging. I'm gagging. I'm Wait, screaming. Miz, do you like having your ass eaten? Obviously, yeah. I knew it. It, it does. <laughs> Obvious. I mean, it's look a at good my face. Thing. Look at me. It's a good thing. I mean, it's fun, but yeah, it all also you do is like is sit there. You don't have to like do anything. Yeah, but but like, I like like okay. Do you like having your ass eaten as you're like hunched over, or do you like sitting on their face? I like sitting, sitting on, their, on face. their face. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like being laying. I like laying on my stomach for everything. Oh no, <laughs> I, I like just sitting. I like them laying on their backs shit. and me like sitting on their face. Oh, oh. I, I kind of like doing the thighs crusher because then they can head. like grab your cheeks and grab your thighs and like yeah mold them yeah. and then like. And you're yeah. just like, oh yeah. You're like, oh god. And I'm then, gonna fucking come. and then you can just like turn around like 180 come. degrees and just like ride their dick after that. <gasps> See, oh. I'm not that limber. Yeah, no, this whole. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna lay flat. You just fucking pound me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it He's went there. getting pounded. And if I'm gonna keep getting skinnier, I'm gonna get pounded more and more because that hole will be ready. Well, the whole be body, ready, babe. The body will be I'm ready. I'm coming back. Body, whole, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Your whole won't be ready. I can't like, wait for it. I'm going to say. It won't be ready. In a year from now, I'm going to look at Heather and I'm going to go body. Belly. Or body, belly. Belly. Yeah, but your whole won't be ready. Like, no, you're still going to get ready. torn apart. But, like, I'm really doing, like, push-ups in the basement. You're like, still going to have a 36-year-old hole. Like, it's not. I hope it starts working. The whole won't work. No. No. Nope. Well, we'll get it to come All back. Right. We'll do, like, stem cell. Everyone's hole can work. I just feel like it can. I'm about actually, to go. I'm about to go news. sniff some poppers and get some lube in there and just shove a huge like big Tonight? butt plug up my ass. Yeah. Tonight. Oh, that's cute. Like, I need a big ready. butt plug. Yeah. I have a big he butt plug. He gets those new keys me. made and he's ready to get fuck. that key in the hole and put the fucking dick in the hole. Or I need dildo. like a big a big butt plug in there. Are you right not now. trying to get some dick? Like, why don't you call up to? Uh, no, you know. I can't because my stomach isn't good enough. Yeah. What do you mean your stomach's not good enough? Like your body? Yeah. I need Ms. like a, I, uh, uh. Are you fucking kidding so me? So you want to no. tell me that I somebody needs to not wow. tell me that. Wow. But now you're shaming belly. yourself. You're belly. fat shaming yourself. Belly. Look at that belly. Oh, Miz. You know Ms. what? You know what's really sad? Just quit biting your nails because you're getting nervous. Stop. Stop. Here's the thing about Miz that really makes me sad is he's actually hot as fuck and he has no idea. He doesn't get it. He you have no idea. It. Or you do and you're choosing to like sabotage yourself. You're like, I'm ugly. And I'm like, no. Nope. There's people who've like written me and said, I'm not going to be able to listen to him. I just want to look at him. Yep, exactly. I mean, and he's drank the whole 32 hours. I'm not going to be able to listen because I'll just be staring at him the whole time. Oh. Okay. That's well, literally a quote from somebody. Go ahead and stare. So I'm like, stare. Just stare subscribe. away. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you fucking leave a review. Can you give us five stars? And five stars. Like, I'm sorry. That's all I'm asking for. You need to get your friends on that, Miz. So you brought him on for his face. Like, you need to text your friends. Stop biting your nails. You're getting nervous. Don't bite your He's nails. He's getting anxious because we're calling him hot. He is hot, though. And he knows it. No, but he knows it. No, I'm absolutely no, not. No, no, no. But can I also say something about your apartment right now? If you stood up, or like, if, if you, when How you went and answered the door, you? yeah, that is the exact view um, of the porns that I watched <gasps> about uh, delivery porn. So when that guy came to your door, the guy you would have answered your door with your dick out. Yep. And then the guy would have been like, four ninety nine. And sometimes they like come inside. Sometimes they'll look at it awkward. But for whatever reason, that is so hot to me. Because he'll be like, sorry, I didn't expect you right now. And he like will keep playing with it. And they'll be like, okay. But that's the porn. So you need to do it. You have the perfect setup. So I think Bobby wants you to start jerking off. Is what I'm <laughs> no, I'm saying Please. you need to set up a porn though and get the just keep getting margs and just see who shows up. Just keep ordering margs. Okay, good we'll enough. Just, we'll get I, you. I, we'll, I'm into it. I'm into it. You know what? Uh, you're gonna be you famous are. on X too. <laughs> X videos. That's what I go to. Do you go to that? I like it. I like it too. He's, what the fuck is that? Biting his today nails. I typed. Yeah, he's biting his nails. He's so nervous. I, I also realized today that I like watching sh um, first time straight guys. Yeah, of course. I Googled car and today I came to. Oh, there's a lot of car stuff. What did I come to today? Oh, some hostel. He's like, I own a hostel, but the boys that come here know they have to jack off. And it's like really kind of amateur. -y. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Miz is like trying not to jump out his window onto Columbus <laughs> Avenue right now. I actually don't now. think so. I think he's actually having a good time. I, I think it's you that needs to jump out the window. Him. Babies, oh. I always have a good time with you two. I think that you two. <laughs> I love Bye. Jim. I love Jim, but he's a pain in my ass right now. Bye. Honestly, Jim, 
How many Vavin cookies have you had today? Eight. Like eight? Oh my god, I said I had one and it was like the best thing of my life. Yeah, Bobby loved it. There you go, honey. It's gonna be a long night, honey, but I took down Christmas and Michael doesn't even know. I did chores today. He has no clue. I've you been did a chores? Good boy. I've been a good chore boy. I've been a good boy. Winston, what are you guys doing for the rest of the night? I'm so interested in what goes on in uh, Columbus. No, um, absolutely nothing. Isn't Columbus it so funny that you guys live in Columbus, pop. Ohio, and I live on Columbus Ave? I know. Uh, I think it's like I'm density. screaming. I'm screaming. And we love. Um, I'm jerking. And I'm we jerking. Have a shake shack. And you have a shake shack. What? We do have a shake shack. We have a shake shack. And we both have Levan like right oh, next to each other. I know there's a shake shack in Columbus because I've seen. Pictures of me. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you, so I know I've seen there's a shake shack. Gulping it down, you fat. Listen, I think they're like two thousand calories for one fucking milkshake. No, they're so absolutely yeah. they fucking are. stupid good. Can you vomit up a Shake Shack milkshake easily? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. actually easier I need to, to practice. It's thick milk though. I think they use heavy whipping cream and not like whole milk. <gasps> yeah, you just do that, and then it all comes up. Oh, two fingers. Oh, do I to... always do two fingers. Wait, have you ever touched a vagina? Yeah, I've had sex with like six girls. Okay, I didn't know if we established that yet. Oh, we had. So we've. Uh, oh, I've topped a girl. <laughs> I'm a I've total. Bottom. I've never bottomed a girl, so yeah. I'm a heavy top, <laughs> literally. Oh, you are a heavy bottom. I am a heavy bottom. You want to? You want fuck something oh, solid? You want to fuck this? I'm hole? your guy. Michael's like, okay, fine. Michael's like, yeah. Like, I guess again. It's only um, been 18 times. I just want to make sure that this episode that we come across. It's like, terrible. No, it's not. I, there's so much content already. I can't wait. It is. I'm going to cut your ass off. <laughs> your ass off. He's hot. He's hot. I'd fuck John. That is a hot John. Jew. John Ossoff is a hot I think John. he's hot. I think he's hot. Oh, I think every gay would literally slurp his oh, dick down. Oh, my God. He could fuck. I'm also want to go like to his butthole. Yeah, I, I want to eat him out. I actually bought a picture. I, I, wanna, bought a, I, I bought him I want to eat him out like big I time. I bought him for him, and he d he loved it. I bought him for him. Have you heard this whole? Oh my god, Miss. Yes. Have you heard the challenge? The my girl, I I what is it? I kissed my grandfather goodbye in that rotunda. Was that I what it is? kissed my grandfather goodbye in that rotunda. We're gonna do one with the, the mask on, by the way. Yeah. And you're gonna post it to the gym okay, uniform. Ready. So there's this whole like trend going around. I guess Jenna Bush like said, I kissed my grandfather. I can play it on my phone. Play it. Should I? I kissed my grandfather goodbye in that rotunda. So it became like a trend. <laughs> What's his name? Cole. Cole Escola. If I have to tell you one more time, <laughs> I'm literally gonna shoot myself. This is the guy that was on difficult. Oh, Miz is done. Miz is done, and I'm done. Okay, so here it is. Can we order another 32 ounce mark? Is the question. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, I yeah. can't. Yeah. Oh, look look how done. close I am to being done. I can't. Oh, oh my God. I'm almost done. I kissed my grandfather goodbye in that rotunda. I kissed my grandfather goodbye in that rotunda. So the whole gig is this. I ain't gotta find the. I thought Give that was gonna the be the original. Babies. So what you doing tonight? Jenna you Bush. Better say doing me right. Watching movies probably ain't seeing a thing tonight. That is so funny that a, somebody's Daddy's tragedy. Keep you up. Jody, and you keep it oh wait, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. You're gonna be screaming. I promise. You're gonna be screaming. How are them chips, big boy? How do I play this? Get looking at me, he's just ready to eat chips. I mean, this is not, this is off the record, obviously. Like, I'm just fucking around. We're just hanging out right now, you know? We're just I mean? hanging out. Why can't I find this fucking video, though, Mike, or whoever you are? Oh, Lord, he called me Mike. Here we go. I'm not nearly as big. No. In many departments. He's actually really lost a lot of weight. Has he? Yeah. Wow, that's his, weird. His pants don't even fit him. Oh, that's, that's cute. cute. Yeah. Okay, let's see if agree to an orderly transition of power on January 20th after Congress certified President elect Joe Biden's video win. At? Biden's victory became official overnight, paving the way for him to be named the 46th president of the United Sorry. States. But it came after pro Trump right. This is um, a day that will go down in our nation's history. Yesterday was a day that I don't think anyone. 
could have imagined. I mean, we all thought we were watching a procedural. Like... And it was like a horrifying thought. Oh, and you know, I, was, I was thinking about you because you, um, this is not just something you watch from afar. Yeah, you know, I, I have to say one of the best privileges of our job is that we travel all around mm -hmm. the country and we meet incredible, incredible, ordinary, extraordinary teachers and nurses and kind people. And what was so hard, I think, mm -hmm. for so many of us yeah. who have grieving hearts is these images are not our yeah. America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is not the America that you know. Mm -mm. This is not the America that I know. It's not the America that we want our kids to know. Mm -mm. So that was hard and I have had the privilege of standing on those steps mm -hmm. and, and several inaugurations, not just for family members, but for the first black president of the United States of America. Mm -hmm. When I was a teacher in inner city DC, and that meant so much to so many, I kissed my grandfather goodbye in that rotunda. I have felt the majesty of I our country. I kissed my so grandfather well. goodbye so, in that rotunda. So this became a thing and people are, I, I kissed my grandfather goodbye in that rotunda. 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 I kissed my grandfather goodbye in the tundra. In the tundra. In the tundra? Yes, in the tundra. In the tundra. I kissed my grandfather goodbye in that rotunda. Ah, that rotunda. I kissed my grandfather goodbye. Wait, Jim, remember when you said, lose me weight? Lose me weight? So I did oh, one. Oh, yes. I made one. I'm trying to go viral, and of course he didn't pick me, so there's... Ah, lose me weight. Ah, lose me weight. Ah, matey, lose me weight. 50 pounds, matey. Here's mine. Ah, <laughs> lose me weight. Ah, lose me weight. I kissed my grandfather goodbye in that rotunda. Ah, I kissed my grandfather goodbye in that rotunda. Ah, in that rotunda. Rotunda. <laughs> Oh, and that rotunda. So that, like, became a thing. How? Like, oh, I kiss my grandfather goodbye in that rotunda. I kiss my grandfather goodbye in that rotunda. I kiss my <laughs> grandfather goodbye in that rotunda. Oh, 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 oh my god. This uh, yeah. is the first time you're going to show your face because this is too funny. You're going on YouTube, honey. Oh, I'm oh, gonna, I'm oh gonna, I kiss my grandfather goodbye uh, in the oh, rotunda. Oh, oh, grandfather oh, in the rotunda. <laughs> Oh, and I fucked my grandfather in the rotunda. <laughs> oh, I ran my grandfather's dick in that rotunda. <laughs> I got fucked in that rotunda. Oh, my grandfather popped my ass in that rotunda. I actually wondered if about... you got fucked in the rotunda. Well, I mean, did you ever go on that eighth grade tour in the rotunda? No, no. I never. I was never allowed. Oh, why? Because you were poor. No, because my parents didn't believe in that because they're Republicans and it was probably a Democrat. So in the you office. weren't allowed to go to the rotunda of the Capitol. No. In eighth grade? No, we were not. I didn't to go. either. Why? But they didn't want me to go on a trip by myself. Wow, that's yeah. sad. Well, I was really young for eighth grade too. I was only like oh, twelve. Were you? You were like twenty-five. So was I. I what does that have to do with it? I was sixteen. It? I was really young. I was sixteen my first day. Of I was senior really year. young. I was like twenty-five I was 15. for eighth grade. I was fifteen the first day of my senior year. No, you were not. Yes, I was. I was seventeen when I went to college. So was I. You didn't go to college. Yes, I fucking did, and I well, didn't. Well, you dropped out after a month, but. No, I actually went for a couple of years. <laughs> the sad part is I've went for years and still fucking couldn't finish. But the thing is, is that I'm just creative, and I'm just like, and also. Yeah, right. I make a good money for not doing. You do. I'm for in a trade. You do. Yeah. I mean, it's just like totally blocked us out. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I can't wait to He's go like, back. I'm going to send you a painting. Did he just have to block us out because he was eating? I paint. He's no, like, I'm... I can't eat in front of anyone. Oh my god, he did just eat. Yeah, he's like, I chewed a wow. chip. Wow, we need to talk about this. You're gonna yeah. eat with us. When... I don't One know. Day you're gonna eat. With I don't us. know if you know what this person does, but he all, all he do does is eat. is eat. All I do is eat. He's like, oh my god, what are we gonna eat next? I'm like, I don't. And I need three solid meals a day, or I'm pissed. I can't. I'm fasting now. Yeah, no. I have an app. I'm fasting. Nope. 
Miz is, yeah, he's done. He's quitting. We're done. That's fine. And you know what? Like, it was a good run. It was a good long season. We got four. He's or five not quitting. Four or five episodes in, and that's a lot. Guys, we're that's really good... popping. Yeah, we are. We no, are. we are. And what's weird is that this episode, like, people are starting to listen from other episodes. I don't know where though, because we've had like four hundred listens a day or every. Ooh, is that a Frito? I don't remember. It was like weird. Last Sunday we had eighty-five plays on just Sunday though, but it was like. There was no episode. I don't know what they were listening to. 85. 20,000. Huh. Oh, girl. Anyway. That's what I needed. Did we right express there. everything we need to express, no, though, as far as like. Absolutely not. My anal glands are blocked. Oh, my God. Are you expressing? You need to express Eat in front my of us. Anal... There oh, you go. Oh, good job. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. Good Keep good going. Boy. Oh, my God. You're eating food. Once you see us eat, you'll be like, oh. Oh, I can eat whatever <laughs> like, I want. Like, I'd eat 75 chips. I did earlier. Actually, I did, too. I walked in. He's like, we have extra chips. So, like, okay. I'm like, here's some chops. Here, I love chops. My friend Ashley one day went, I want some chops and dop. And so, uh, Hosewater Girl. So every time that I Farted. think of that, I go, chips and dop? You want some chips and dop? Anyway. Um, I love chips and dop. I love chips and dop. I love chips and dop. So keep, so, so I'm just going to do like a little housekeeping, Just I guess. keep being you and love your life and live yourself and live your truth. And yeah, you and if your parents are fuckheads, don't worry about it right now. Like, you just don't need to really talk to them. And that's primarily to us, yeah. not <laughs> you, because your parents are obviously like pilgrim gods, and ours are not. Or life. Well, but that's why I'm like, you know what? Let's just do what we want to do and say what we want to <gasps> say. And oh. So let's just end. Gonna, let's... He wants to fuck a PVK. Let's end this episode positively because I want our okay. listeners to like go away from this episode because now that this drama is done, hopefully we won't have but another drama thing. What do you want thing. them to think? What do you want we them will. to think? And we will. I mean, this I'll, will come out right before the inauguration when we're all getting in like it's going coming out in like four days. That's murdered in a camp. Oh. So yeah. Okay, so so that's <laughs> about funny. that positivity. Yay! <laughs> I mean, if I you want me to go first, I can. We. Okay, go. Okay, I I muted. I muted him. <laughs> I've been fucking muted. I've been muted. It doesn't pick up, honey. It's a condenser mic. I muted. Okay. Um, I muted. I would just leave the listeners and and I would just say this: be yourself. Don't be afraid, and just keep moving forward. And make sure that you love your fellow American that is really american and not some psychopath quote-unquote patriot that is an antifa but not because they're trump people like just be yourself and love each other thank you i just want to leave a positive note and i want to let you know that 50 out of the 100 senators are republican and uh, about 49 percent of the house members are republican and six out of the nine justices are republican and in the 2020 platform of the Republicans, they want to take away same-sex marriage. So this is what we're facing. About half our country hates us. And they hate the T's, they hate the L's, the G's, the B's, all of them. Not the pluses, though. The pluses, they don't even know and what the, the plus queers. stands for. The queers they are gone. They don't know what those mean. So that's my little positive note is love yourself, love your families, and realize that at least half the country is against you and hates you. And also find your chosen family. Oh, yes. Like, my yeah. little positive note is you can absolutely want to kill yourself and absolutely be depressed and be fine with it. And you can <laughs> look at memes and you can look at social media posts and you can just sit there in bed and want to fucking slit your throat and it's fine. And no one cares. And you should absolutely feel comfortable doing that. Bye. And we just really, I hope everyone feels pumped up and ready to go and face the world because it's a wonderful, beautiful world out there. And if you want to kill yourself, do it. Well, we're going to leave that to the man. I'm always scared. I'm going to wake up and I'm going to get a text from Mrs. Sister. So it's going to be over. <laughs> yep. Which you better put us on like a little. I'm waiting for Mrs. Dad to be like, so the Miz is gone. I'll be like, <laughs> be like <laughs> I can't he wait. left. He'll He's be like, left. Clayton Roberts dead. <laughs> oh, her. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give us five stars if you have the time. On Spotify, iTunes, or Podcast Premium. Ooh, that's MSR. Or what's it called? ASMR? <laughs> well, yeah, do, your, do it that again. That is MSM, and my family hates Hold on, MSM. I'm going to do something, too. Uh, me, too. Do it, Jim. You first.
fucking hole. You gotta fuck this hole. Oh my god, I'm so wet. Oh god, I'm so fucking wet. Oh my god. Paul! You can't scream. Because the vol oh. volume's at max. Oh, fuck, Paul. Oh my god, my fucking clit's gonna burst. What are you eating, Miss? Miss, you're so fat. Hold on, let him do this thing. Miss, shh. I I'm eating brisket and queso. Oh. oh. Oh, that brisket. He's joking. Oh my god, he mm. loves to choke on oh, fucking choke on that meat. cock. Mm. Get that choke on the mm. cock. Get that meat down your throat. Mm. Oh. 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 Alright, that was fucking banged. All right, well, this wow. has been another episode of She's Not oh. Doing... Wait, hold on. Wait, it seems really loud. Uh, 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 miserable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Miserable yeah. men. Uh, 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 gay, 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 <laughs> gay. Okay, this is beyond ridiculous. This has been another episode of She's Not Doing Swell. I'm Bobby. I'm Jim. I have to sneeze. <laughs> I'm the man. I'm the man. I have to sneeze, so. And that's the Miz. Yeah, and that's the Miz. I want to hear him sneeze though. <laughs> oh, it was yes. a heavy sneeze. That was like, <laughs> a the thick sneeze. The was like a little bit of cum was coming out your mouth. The <laughs> Miz. Oh shit. Okay, see you yeah, next but week. Yeah, I'm, I'm eating queso though, so you know. That I brisket really queso is like dragging out. All right, say goodbye. Bye. Bye. No, no, no. Thank you for listening to another episode of She's Not Doing So Well. Leave a message with questions or comments at 669-207-4643. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our links in the podcast description of this episode. Views, information, or opinions expressed during She's Not Doing So Well podcast are solely those of the individuals involved and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of any other agency, organization, employer, or company. This has been a House of Breck production. <laughs>